Filipinas. 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 How can we balance our love for our country with a critical evaluation of its flaws and imperfections? So, in terms of flaws and imperfections, our country is not perfect, right? Um, a lot of imperfections yung nakikita natin. But we need to accept it kasi dito tayo nabuhay, dito tayo pinanganak. We need to love it. Siyempre, sino bang magmamahal sa Pilipinas kung hindi tayo, di ba? Tayong mga Pilipino. And in terms of flaws and imperfections, um, I think um, we can show our love for our country by correcting the mistakes of the others, like the politicians. Huwag na natin gayahin. Kasi um, kapag nakita mo na sa ibang tao na mali yung ginagawa nila, um, we can... Um, um, makikita naman natin to, pero wag natin gayahin. Yun. Um, in terms of loving our country, accept it and support all the politicians na maganda yung pinapakita, yung mga namumuno, maganda yung pinapakita, support natin. Pero yung mga hindi ga gaano kaganda yung pinapakita, um, doon. Huwag na natin support How can you say you are a Makabayan? In what way do you show concern for the citizens of the Philippines? So how can I say I am a Makabayan? So simply um, supporting the local business of uh, fellow Filipinos. Siyempre doon, sinusupport natin, yan encourage natin yung iba na bumili ng um, local product, doon natin na pinapakita na we are supporting them para sa income nila at income din ng Pilipinas. And as a PE teacher, how can I show... Um, na makabayan ako. Um, as a PE teacher, tinuturo ko ngayon yung arnis. Uh, this is our national sports and martial arts in our country. Gusto ko every students malaman nila yung national sports and martial arts ng Pilipinas. Yun. What do you think this nation's future holds? In your opinion, what impact do politicians in the government, both past and present, have for the future of this nation? So what is the impact of the past and future I present government? Oh. So uh, I'm not an anti-government. Eh. Um, this is based on my opinion. Eh. So based on my opinion, uh, maraming plus yung present um, government natin. Like yung mga confidential funds, hindi nila alam saan uh, napupunta. Pero meron ding... Uh, maganda yung proyekto nila. So, ang impact nito sa future ng Pilipinas, kung hindi ganon or hindi umayon based on the plan, yung plano ng mga government officials parang ma malaki yung epekto ng malaking epekto nito sa Pilipinas like yung mga sy syempre, dun sa confidential funds, meron silang plan. Hindi nila alam kung saan pino napupunta yung pera. So, ano yung impact nito? Um, yung mga tax or yung mga pera na binabayad ng taong bayan parang nasasayang lang. So in terms of past and future or present um, kailangan kung ano yung kapag kakamali ng past government nung dating mga officials, wag na nilang gayahin. Kailangan uh, baguhin nila, improve lahat ng proyekto at kailangan lahat ng mga proyekto alam ng mga tao. Given the current situation, what particular reforms do you believe our government should prioritize and how can we use the lessons learned from the past to create a better future? So what are the um, kailangan prioritize ng government? First, the health. Siyempre, past pandemic or post pandemic na tayo, um, they need to focus on health um, para hindi na tayo magaya dati nung pandemic, hindi tayo ready, hindi natin alam kung ga anong gagawin, yung solution nila, puro lockdown, yun. Second is education. So education and technology kailangan na kay incline dyan. Kailangan ini-improve natin yung education as, um, as well as our technology. Siyempre para hindi tayo mapag-iwanan sa ibang bansa. Diba? Um, we are in the third world country yata or pang third. Basta yun, na pag-iiwanan tayo 
in terms of technology, parang gumagaya na lang tayo sa ibang bansa, yan. And then, third one is the security. So, we are nai-invade na yung Pilipinas, hindi natin alam kung lalaban pa ba tayo or what. Um, marami ng mga mangingisda yung nadadamay, lalo na sa West Philippine Sea, yun. Yung health, education and technology, at saka yung security ng every Pilipino. How can you show importance on the history, culture, and tradition of the Philippines? And how can we preserve it? So history, it is very important. Um, it has an important role in our country, right? Dito natin malalaman kung saan tayo nanggaling. So how can I show? I'm simply uh, encouraging all of my students na magsayaw or suma magsayaw ng mga traditional music, ay traditional dances, magsayaw ng mga maglaro ng mga Philippine or um, traditional games para ma-encourage sila and how can we preserve it so simply um, encouraging them to go to the every museum na meron tayo for example dito sa Pampanga meron tayong museum pwede silang uh, mag ano doon bigyan mo sila ng project um, aralin nila kung ano yung nandoon sa museum na yon and um, simply showing the different types of dances, um, as a PE teacher, syempre, traditional dance, um, kailangan natin ipagkita yon And, ayun, um, sumasali din ako sa mga different types of seminars about traditional dance, like sa Sinuquan. Yun, um, pumupunta din ako doon para mabroaden yung knowledge ko about the history of the Pampanga and our country. Yun. What impact, in your opinion, has fake news had in the Philippines? How are you going to fight it? Fake news, um, isa, ito sa malaking issue ngayon. So simply posting in social media about the different types of news na, for example, nagpost ka kahit hindi naman totoo, marami nang maniniwala kasi maraming nakakakita. So in terms of fake news, um, lagi kong ini-encourage yung mga students ko, always uh, magi sila ang fact checker. Like, i-check muna nila bago nila i-share ito sa social media. Hindi lahat ng chismis, lahat ng nakikita sa social media ay totoo. And kailangan reliable yung sources na pinagkukunan nila. Hindi yung nagpost lang ako tapos mananiwala na sila. So, in terms of fake news, that, kailangan we need to think before we click. Sabi nga sa GM, think before you click. Sabi nga nila, di ba? Para um, always check bago mo i-share, bago mo i-post. Always check kung meron bang matatamaan or meron bang um, maiinis sa post mo. Yan, kailangan maging fact checker tayo para maiwasan natin yung pagkalat ng fake news. At hindi tayo yung reason na, hindi tayo yung magiging unang reason na nagkakalat ng fake news. How can we balance our love for our country with a critical evaluation of its flaws and imperfections? For me, um, how we can still... Ano, so how can we still balance, balance love of the Philippines? Um, titignan pa rin natin yung positive side niya. Even though puno na ng negative ang nangyayari sa Pilipinas, tulad sa politics, ang nangyayari sa mga tao ngayon, poverty, number one, tapos yung pag-corruption, isa rin yun. How can you say you are a Makabayan? In what way do you show concern for the citizens of the Philippines? Uh, masasabi ko, ma Makabayan ako. Like nung huling national, ano, election. Ta, national election nga. Yung pagpili ng tamang presidente, sabi na natin, or mga senator, doon natin malala, makikita na mga bayan tayo. At iniisip din natin yung taong bayan, hindi lang yung, hindi lang tayo, buong kalahatan na sabi na natin. Oh, in what way do you show concern for the... So the size of the Philippines. Um, tulad nun, um, I'm one of the volunteers din nun. nag house to house kami kung sino ba dapat yung iboboto. We will educate them. Yun lang naman yung ano, simpleng way para ano, umangat Mga... tayo din. As being a makabayan na rin. What do you think this nation's future holds? In your opinion, what impact do politicians in the government, both past and present, have for the future of this nation? Hmm, sa napapansin ko ngayon, um, parang hindi pa siya nang ka-clear for now dahil kasi ah, kakaupo lang nila, sabihin natin. Kakaupo lang nila kaya hindi pa natin, may ilang years pa sila para patunayan pa. 
Tapos doon sa pangalawang question mo is, both, may up and down sila, may positive and negative. Kaya doon sa unang statement, hindi pa siya ganun ka-clear talaga. Given the current situation, what particular reforms do you believe our government should prioritize? And how can we use the lessons learned from the past to create a better future? Actually, yung mas magandang, ang dapat i-target nila is yung poverty sa so nangyayari ngayon. At tagal na nilang pinapangako yung iaangat daw yung mga taong nasa laila. Sabi nga nila. Pero ba't hanggang ngayon, hindi pa rin nila magawagawa? Mas lalo pang dumadami, sabihin mo. Due to corruption na rin yan, siguro. For sure naman yun, corruption talaga. And ito pa yung mga sahod ng mga nurse natin. Lalo na during the pandemic, ano nangyayari sa mga nurses natin? Ang dami-daming nurses na nagkakasakit din. Tapos yung ano kasing pay yun? Hazard pay, hindi man nabibigay on time. Tapos kaya napapansin din natin ng Pilipinas, kulang sa nurse, pati mga doctor, lumilip, l- nag-OFW sila dahil mas malaki ang offer doon. How can you show importance on the history, culture, and tradition of the Philippines? And how can we preserve it? Uh, maano natin yun? So, di ba, religious tayong mga Pinoy. So, during... Our past din, religious na tayo sabi natin. Pero nung nina-invade tayo ng mga Spaniards, mas lalong nag-improve yung pagiging religious natin. Kaya until ngayon, mas na, na-maintain natin sila. Hindi na natin nabitawan yung paniniwala and yung Diyos at yung anak natin. What impact, in your opinion, has fake news had in the Philippines? How are you going to fight it? Ang laki ng impact din. Kahit sa lahat din, ng event students, yung mga may kanya-kanya paniniwala, eh, sabihin natin. Ako, naniwala ako doon sa isa, color pink. Doon sa isa, color red. Ako yung pink, yung partner ko is red. So, ako, mas pinarotest ako sa kanya, mas pinakita ko sa kanya yung totoo sa kanya. And sa kanya kasi, simula kabataan din kasi, sa lola niya. Mas pinainano sila nung bata pa sila. Ito yung boto nyo, mas maraming ginawa during yung parao ng tatay niya. Eh nung nag na, yung during the election na nga, yung malapit na yung halalan na dati, nag, nagbangayang kami sa mga fact check, sabi nga namin, fact check. Eh siya, during that day, wala siya ma- maatake sa akin na kung ano yung fact niya na Evidences. evidences, resibo, sabihin natin. Ayun, malaki talaga yung impact nung ano. Presidential election din nung mm, Fake news. And mm. sir, how are you going to fight it? Yung fake news siguro? Siguro yun na nga yung the word itself. Um, magtingin tayo sa mga past na nanagawa nila. History, ganun din. Tapos, yun na nga yung fact check. Uh, tumingin na lang kayo sa website, meron yung isa. Nandun lahat. Yeah. Hindi ka tulad nung isa, Laging dire-rewrite yung nakaraan na wala man daw ginawa yung tatay niya. Even though ang daming nangyari. Eh, one of my friends yung pinsan niya. Namatay during the martial law. Tapos ang galing ng ginawa, tinago agad yung ebidensya niya. Pero ay yung kitang-kita nila na pinatay, yung pinsan niya. Yun. So, fact-check na lang lagi tayo. How can we balance our love for our country with a critical evaluation of its flaws and imperfections? I think when we try to be critical, I think it's so important to be empathetic. We we should try to understand where the other party is coming from. For example, Filipinos voting for incompetent leaders, right? Most of the time, we think that it's at surface level, but why are they doing it? And if we look hard enough, it's because of education din. Hindi, hindi gano'n naman kaganda yung ba diba, yung education um, program here sa Philippines. So, hindi lahat they're, not all of Filipinas are capable to, to study or to learn enough about those kind of circumstances. How can you say you are a Makabayan? In what way do you show concern for the citizens of the Philippines? Well, first of all, student pa lang ako sa Kangger College. So, very limited yung mga pwede kong gawin. Pero, I think I should start in my profession. And I think that should be the case in all of the youth here sa Philippines. Kasi, like, 
For example, I'm a student nurse, so I think I can start from there. Kung mag-focus ako sa career ko, mag-focus ako sa advancement na pwede kong mag magawa within my field. For example, donating, you know, volunteering sa mga health center, um, di ba, for um, donation for, for, for blood. So from there, I think we can start from each of our professions that, that is within our reach. What do you think this nation's future holds? In your opinion, what impact do politicians in the government, both past and present, have for the future of this nation? Well, first of all, I'm very hopeful na someday we can get past kung ano yung mga problema na hinaharap ng bansa ngayon. Like, you know, especially corruption. Um, ayun. Pero, pagdating sa impact sa, ng politicians, it's very... Sobra grabe. Minsan, I think it's very overlooked kung ano yung mga pwedeng, yung mga nagagawa nila or yung mga actions, yung mga consequences ng actions nila. It's very, very overlooked kasi sometimes, I mean, most of the time, yung consequences ng actions nila, ang humaharap is yung mga next generation. Next generation, after generation, and after generation. So it's very, I think from there, dun pa lang, it's emphasized already how important it is to vote for you know good leaders great leaders so anyway. given the current situation what particular reforms do you believe our government should prioritize and how can we use the lessons learned from the past to create a better future um hindi ko alam pero ito agad po ang sasayisip ko feeling ko political dynasty this this reform, it's a very, for me, it's very manipulative. Kasi, kung isipin mo, like, okay, pamilya sila, pero when we look at it in a different angle, it's very manipulative. It's very, you know, when we look, diba, when we check for their intentions, hindi naman ganun kaganda. So, <laughs> when political dynasty happens, it's very obvious kung ano yung yung target or yung yung objective ng isang pamilya. So, from there, I think mababawasan yung problema. May mga omit somehow yung problems na inaharap natin yun. How can you show importance on the history, culture, and tradition of the Philippines? And how can we preserve it? Well, keep reliving it, ba? Keep practicing the tradition. Keep, keep doing it. Kasi from there, we can also keep it alive. So yun, ganun, ganun lang kadali, I think. I believe so. What impact, in your opinion, has fake news had in the Philippines? How are you going to fight it? For the last question, this is very, ano ah, very controversial. Pero, I'm not gonna be specific, pero siguro, pagdating lang sa corruption, diba, when we know this family or this politician committed this crime, and it's a fact. Pero, I don't know why people, Filipinos, keep turning their heads away. Pero kasi, fake news, it leads us to this destruction. Diba? It corrupts the core of being a Filipino. And it corrupts the future generation. So, ayun. How can we balance our love for our country with a critical evaluation of its flaws and imperfections? Balancing our love for our country with a critical evaluation of its flaws and imperfections can be achieved by a constructive and objective approach. Love to be considered is to foster a sense of patriotism. One must celebrate and embrace values and culture of our country. Always recognize the positive impact that ones have done in our life and to the lives of the others. Comprehension of and understanding of our history politics and social issues, encourage open dialogue and advocate a positive change. How can you say you are a Makabayan? In what way do you show concern for the citizens of the Philippines? I can say that I am a Makabayan because I'm concerned with my country. I love my country. In this way, I could able to show my concern through volunteerism, supporting local businesses, stay informed and engaged, practice empathy, and kindness, vote and participate in civic activities, 
promote inclusivity and equality and contribute to sustainable practices. What do you think this nation's future holds? In your opinion, what impact do politicians in the government, both past and present, have for the future of this nation? So politicians have a great impact to the government. It does with the policy making, the governance and leadership also matters, development of economy, and social cultural empowerment of the country. And so, international relationship must also be considered. Thus, politicians have a great role in the government in the next or future generations to come. Given the current situation, what particular reforms do you believe our government should prioritize? And how can we use the lessons learned from the past to create a better future? In this current uh, situation, I think the reform that the government should prioritize is a good governance and transparency. This should enhance transparency, accountability, and integrity in the public administration. So economic development and job creation is also one of the important aspect that it needs to be covered or considered by the government, where government prioritizes um, the policies that promote sustainable economic growth, attract investment, and create a job opportunities. How can you show importance on the history, culture, and tradition of the Philippines? And how can we preserve it? In my opinion, being a Filipino, there are lots of ways in order to show importance to our history, our culture, and tradition. But uh, one of the very important things to consider is you need, we need to have documentations or documents and records. We have to um, support the, the cultural and together with the institution. By doing this, we could able to show by uh, preserving, preser preserving our uh, culture, our history and, to to, and together with the tradition by visiting museums, the libraries, the cultural centers, and engage in cultural activities like cultural festivals, performances, and traditional policy. What impact, in your opinion, has fake news had in the Philippines? How are you going to fight it? Uh, in, my, in my own opinion, fake news in the Philippines can impact in individual, in society, and even in the global affairs. There have a lot of fake news that have been... Um, publicized in the Philippines, but this must be stopped. And be, uh, we have to make sure that being a Filipino must be vigilant with what is the true, what is not uh, correct, uh, with the news that being published uh, here and abroad. So this must be stopped and be vigilant about this matter. So one must be informed to avoid confusion. Defy manipulation and the black propaganda uplift economic development, educate yourself, report and block fake news, support reputable journalism, and promote media literacy. How can we balance our love for our country with a critical evaluation of its flaws and imperfections? How can you say you are a Makabayan? In what way do you show concern for the citizens of the Philippines? What do you think this nation's future holds? In your opinion, what impact do politicians in the government, both past and present, have for the future of this nation? Given the current situation, what particular reforms do you believe our government should prioritize? And how can we use the lessons learned from the past to create a better future? How can you show importance on the history, culture, and tradition of the Philippines? And how can we preserve it? What impact, in your opinion, has fake news had in the Philippines? How are you going to fight it? Fake news. How can we balance our love for our country with a critical evaluation of its flaws and imperfections? Uh, 
madami talagang mga ano na may mga mali, may mga tama, ganoon. Pero yung kailangan natin ipag-focus is yung mga tama, hindi yung mga mali. Kasi alam natin kaya may itama yung mga mali sa bansa natin. Kaya um, we have to be proud na pinoy po tayo dahil na ito yung dugo natin. And hindi naman lahat ng mga nasa bansa natin is perfect and hindi rin na lang. Marami sila ang mga bagay na kaya ipatanayan pa sa bansa How can you say you are a Makabayan? In what way do you show concern for the citizens of the Philippines? Um, sa way na pinagmamalaki ko yung gawa ng, ng mga bayan natin is like yung sa Pampago which is yung Barul Lantern. Um, pinaka ano ko uh, sikap dito sa Pampago dahil na colorful and nakakadilaw siyang panahon. And yung concern na is kapag may mga taong nahihirapan na nangangailangan ng tulong para sa atin. Um, Tinutulong ko na sila. Like, kahit konti lang. Ay, meron sa mga chip ngayon. Hindi lang ko silang pumapasok. Ganyan, nanghingin. Nagbibigay na sa akin. Ikalagay ko din ako ng mga bariya kahit ano, kahit pero na meron ako is nagbibigay pa din ako ng mga babayan pa rin natin sila at kabuto pa rin natin. What do you think this nation's future holds? In your opinion, what impact do politicians in the government, both past and present, have for the future of this nation? Um, mga dating nakaupo ako siya, like si Duterte, um, nakita ko kung paano nag-improve yung Pilipinas na dahil na dati talaga ang daming mga case sa drugs which is na padali na namang naalis pero may mga natira pa din kasi syempre di naman natin alam kung saan sila nakatrap. Pero ngayon na si BBM na yung nakaupo, uh, actually siya yung sinaportahan ko ng ano. Pero ngayon na may nakikita ko na nagyayari, hindi ko alam kung ano pa yung masasabi ko sa lagay ngayon ng Pilipinas. Dahil uh, biglang dumami yung pinapatay, kinikidnap, and masyadong tumaas din yung mga billions market which is kawawa sa mga taong wala masyadong kinikitas. Kaya hindi ko alam. Hindi ko alam kung paano ko isasagot yung future ng Pilipinas. Pero para sa akin, man, ano, nagtitiwala pa rin ako dun sa umupong presidente ngayon dahil hindi ko naman alam kung ano talaga tumatakas sa kanya. Mag, uh, kailangan natin yan. trust the process which is kailangan natin i unnecessary lifting dahil na maraming mga bagay na hindi naman hindi naman talaga natin nakikita given the current situation what particular reforms do you believe our government should prioritize and how can we use the lessons learned from the past to create a better future Um, yun nga, yung pagtaas ng bilihin, like yung mga presyo talaga, nakakagrabe, like nakakawaw yung taas. Dahil nga, dati kung yung presyo ng bigas sa isang kilo is nasa 30 plus na, ngayon nasa 60 plus na, no? talagang grabe. Kaya para sa akin, kailangan talaga mong solusyonan yun ng gobyerno dahil na kawawa yung mga tao na nasa situation ng poverty. Dahil na... Uh, madaming taong naghihirap talaga ngayon dahil nga mahirap nang hanapin ngayon ang pera dahil nga maging piso man hindi na natin mahanap sa How can you show importance on the history, culture, and tradition of the Philippines? And how can we preserve it? Uh, para sa akin, yung pagmamano which is talaga nakakaano sa ating mga Pilipina dahil nga nadala na natin yung hanggang sa maging katandaman tayo or bata dahil nga yun yung unang tinuloy sa atin ang mag Pwede na rin ang poat mo dahil nga yun ay pag-show na mas sa mga What impact, in your opinion, has fake news had in the Philippines? How are you going to fight it? Um, now, nowadays, mabilis na lang kumalat yung fake news sa bansa natin dahil nga yung mga tao ngayon, ano man makita nila sa online, pindot lang sila na pindot and may makita lang silang something na nakaka-interest, tignan, hindi pa na nila alam yung link na yun. Talagang 
pang ano siya sa mga fake news. Ang magandang gawin para dyan is think before you click. Bago mo siyang pinutin, isipin mo na kung ano talaga yung daman to. Kasi hindi naman natin talaga alam kung ano yung nagagawa ng technology nyo. And huwag tayong maging masyadong curious sa mga bagay-bagay. Dahil kailangan pa rin maniwala tayo sa mga binabalita talaga sa TV. Hindi yung sa mga social media lang. Mas maana sa mga fake news. How can we balance our love for our country with a critical evaluation of its flaws and imperfections? Roosevelt 1903 famously stated that patriotism is not blind acceptance of everything a country does, but rather a critical love that seeks to improve it. Loving comes with acceptance and continuous growth. This does not only apply in romantic relationships, but also with patriotism. We could love our country with all our heart, flaunt it, and raise our flag with pride, but as much as we want it to be flawless. It is not and will never be. As a Filipino, we should strive to enrich it, not in a manner of hiding securities, but through accepting that it has lapses. These imperfections and flaws should be Lesson by doing rightful actions, always upholding the truth, and never forgetting about its painful past. We should always criticize the people who drag our country down, and always prepare for adversity. Of course, there will be things which are not under our control, so what we could do is to embrace this and make something out of it. How can you say you are a Makabayan? In what way do you show concern for the citizens of the Philippines? As a student, patriotism can be demonstrated in some small, simple, yet meaningful ways. First of all is respecting the law of your community, showing respect for the nature, maintaining order in your community, and obeying your parents to be a productive and meaningful part of society. Other way is to always respect the flag, which is symbol of our country. If national anthem is being sung, stop your what you're doing and place your hand on your on your left breast. Look at the flag and sing the national anthem with all your heart. Also, study our history carefully to know the origin and history of the Filipino race. And being a millennial and have a good knowledge in the digital world, I will share the good and bad news to show the concern for the Filipino because social media has had a huge impact on society, affecting how Filipinos obtain their information, share their thoughts, and treat others. Unfortunately, not all of it is good, and teaching children to be a good citizen in the digital world is, all, is also a crucial. Okay? Having open discussion and, stre and stressing the importance of respect and the truth in the digital sphere can be helpful for children. What do you think this nation's future holds? In your opinion, what impact do politicians in the government, both past and present, have for the future of this nation? According to Bank 2023, a recovery in employment and retail trade sustained expansion in the manufacturing sector and rising public infrastructure spending will support growth for the future of the Philippines. Um, in my opinion, um, numerous people both globally and locally are very interested in the future of the Philippines. The Philippines being a developing country with a rich cultural heritage has the potential to make great social progress and emerge as a major force in the world's economy. Nevertheless, for the nation to reach its full potential, a number of obstacles must be overcome. The Philippines' economic development is one of the major factors that will shape its destiny. Problems including high rates of poverty, job opportunities that are scarred, and income inequality are currently plaguing the nation. The government um, needs to concentrate on putting policies into place that support sustainable development and inclusive growth in order to address these issues. Um, this can be accomplished, I think, through bringing in foreign investment 
expanding access to high quality education and making infrastructure investments. The economy also and less de dependent on the business process, outsourcing sector, and remittances. The Philippines can develop a more robust and dynamic economy that benefits all of its citizens by giving priority to these strategies. In summary, um, the Philippines' future is full of potential and opportunities and challenges. One more significant factor that will shape the future is this. The nation can create the condition for a better future by tackling important issues like political stability, social inequality, and economic development. The government must give inclusive growth, infrastructure spending, and sustainable development top priority. According to Bagayas of Rappler 2022, history might repeat itself under Marcos Jr. administration. This information ruined the Philippines' future. The Philippines' future and the effect of its previous and current governments. As someone who has investigated, researched, and studied Philippine history, as well as someone who asked elderly about the country's historical circumstances, if this kind of ruling persists, I believe the Philippines has no future. Throughout its history, the Philippines' economy has encountered many difficulties Regrettably, um, there are uncanny parallels between the nation's historical and contemporary economic circumstances. Over time, the Philippines economy has grown and developed as a result of these similarities. The poorest parallels are between the historical and contemporary um, Philippines economies are the underdeveloped infrastructure corruption and inept governance. Ineffective governance um, stand out as one of the most um, significant parallels between the Philippines economy of the past and the present. The Philippine government has had difficulty enacting laws and other initiatives that would effectively encourage economic expansion. Through throughout history, um, this can be Seen in the underfunding of healthcare and education, the collapse of effort to elevate income inequality, and the lack of infrastructure development. Today's um, economy of the nation is hampered by the same problems. I'm terrified and afraid that history might repeat itself. Given the current situation, what particular reforms do you believe our government should prioritize? And how can we use the lessons learned from the past to create a better future? In addressing the current situation in the Philippines, we should be prioritizing healthcare, education, economic policies, and be beneficial. Learning from the past experiences, promoting transparency, accountable governance, and involving the diverse perspective. How can you show importance on the history, culture, and tradition of the Philippines? And how can we preserve it? According to John Rafael 2010, cultural heritage is the legacy of physical artifacts and intangible attributes of a group or society that are inherited from past generations, maintained in the present, and preserved in the benefit. Emphasizing the importance of Philippines' history, culture, tradition, means adding strong educational program in school and supporting cultural events and preserving heritage. This includes saving old documents, taking care of historical places, and getting local communities involved. Cultural heritage and digital storytelling and supportive legislation also contribute significantly to safeguarding the enduring significance of Philippines' diverse cultural heritage for future generations. What impact, in your opinion, has fake news had in the Philippines? How are you going to fight it? In the Philippines, fake news has had a big impact on public opinion, shaping political narratives, and even escalating social unrest. A multifaceted strategy is needed.
committed to address this, including partnerships with tech platforms, fact-checking campaigns, and media literacy programs. As to the findings of the UNESCO research, defining fake news, it is imperative to provide citizens with official thinking abilities to effectively navigate the information landscape. UNESCO 2018 by encouraging media literacy, we can improve the public's capacity, identify reliable sources of information, building building a more knowledgeable and resilient society that is less susceptible negative impact of fake news. Citation, UNESCO 2018 Kulat dilaw, tunay na makalaban Ang kulay at tatakay, di siyang dahilan Hanggat marami ang lubok sa kahirapan At ang hustisya ay para lang sa mayaman Habang may tatsunod, at sila ang nasa tukpan Ayun na! Ayun na! Sampayan! Ayun na! Ayun na! Ayun na! Sampayan! Hanggat marami ang lugbok sa kaira